Hi, I'm Yes Reno, and today I am doing a Donald Trump inspired makeup tutorial. So all the makeup being used today is gonna come from the collection A Woman's Value Comes From Her Sexual Appeal. Yeah, you're gonna wanna go ahead and purchase the entire collection. This way, when Trump refers to women as fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting, you know, you'll know he's not talking about you. So first, we're gonna wanna take our primer. I'm using this new brand I just bought called the facts. So you're just gonna wanna rub it in your eye, you know, like, don't worry if it's perfect. We're gonna end up manipulating and glossing over the facts anyway. Sometimes I like to paint over the facts with a shadow called Blatant Lies. Today, however, I'm using a different shadow called I'm Really Rich Gold. Really, really rich. The goal is to apply so much of this that the shimmer temporarily blinds people. You know, like, blinds them into thinking that the ability to make money is synonymous with the ability to lead a country. <laughs> it's not. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna take that and apply it to the tops of your eyelids. Next, we're gonna take this brown shade called Incredibly Offensive and apply it to the outer part of our eyelids. Trust me, this shade is gonna make our eyes look huge. You know, huge like the immigrant constituency Trump offended when he said, when Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. Trust me, this shadow will really give you that, oh my god, did he really just say that? <laughs> Look to your eyes. So yeah, just take this, start applying. Finally, take your shade called Make America Great Again and just Blend everything in to try and make it look like it makes sense. If you'll notice, this color glimmers a little bit, much like a revisionist history of the United States that refuses to acknowledge we're a country built on immigration. <laughs> I'll believe it if you do. Now, you're gonna wanna take your eyeliner called Great Wall and draw a border along the southern edge of your eyelid. And I know this is expensive and a little unnecessary, but don't worry, my friend Mexico paid for this. Ah, oh, mascara time! This is my favorite! This mascara comes in all colors, but I especially love the blacks. Just like Trump, I have a great relationship with the blacks. Um, I've always had a great relationship with the blacks. <laughs> when I apply this, I like to hold my mouth slightly agape. You know, like how I did the first time I heard Trump say, laziness is a trade in blacks. Ah, you know. If fallout occurs, as it inevitably will, you're just gonna wanna wipe that away, you know, pretending like it never happened. Uh, next up, we're gonna wanna fill in our eyebrows with a color called China. In the past, Donald Trump has made the claim that global warming was invented by and for the Chinese in order to make US manufacturing non-competitive. So when you apply the shade, you're gonna wanna raise your eyebrows in a skeptical manner like, what? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think too hard about this one. Concealer is next. Uh, this one is a great shade called Even the GOP Wants to Disown Me. Aggressively attack all your zits as if they're your own party members. <laughs> next step is BB Cream. This is like the underlying foundation for everything else. This shade is called Women. You have to treat them like shit. Which is an actual thing that Trump actually said. Then you're gonna wanna put on your warmth. Fun fact, this was originally gonna be called I will be so good to women, which is another thing Trump actually said, but then the name was changed to Contradiction because it seemed more appropriate. Now on to our actual foundation. This one is called Fodder for Terrorists because it's a color that people will actually see when your likeness is being used as terrorist propaganda. If you look closely, this color has elements of anti-Muslim sentiment, hatred, and just pure stupidity. Make sure to apply it in circles. <laughs> Lastly, I want to end with my favorite lip gloss called Hate Doesn't Equal Great. Know who you're voting for this election season. I'm um, yes or no, and <laughs> thanks for watching America. Hey, no, no, no.